morning friends so I have been eating my meatloaf now that I made the other day I'll link that video below for a couple days now and I'm getting kind of tired of eating it so I want to freeze part of it for another meal and I'm going to invent a new recipe and I'm going to make some chili out of half of it because I have a taste for chili even though our weather is going to be heating up again it's going up to I think 87 on Sunday which eh, I was enjoying the cooler 80s and and high 70s weather but I'll take it it's it's still nice out so anyway I will show you how I'm going to make this chili I'll be back in a couple minutes all right so here is the meatloaf that I have left I ate almost half of it <clears throat> and it was good so I'm going to cut a couple nice thick slices and freeze those and then the rest I'm going to make my uh, my ground meat out of really need to find a better word for that ground crumbles crumbles that's what they say all right so I will pack that up and come back in a minute going to light up my citrus and sea salt Dollar Tree candle I love these little things whenever I go to the Dollar Tree I pick up three or four of them in the different scents and for the summer they had this so uh, I, I burn them all the time and then I love these little jars I use those all the time too I use them for spices this one has my garlic salt in it and it fits right on top of my stove here so <clears throat> let me show you real quick I keep my peppers over here my salts over here and that's my recipe box it's really old <clears throat> but anyway these are great for that <clears throat> and they are mason jars says right on there mason so you get a free jar and you get to burn the candle too so anyway um, I've frozen part of my meatloaf and now I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to brown it up because this is going to be my meat my crumbles so this is how I reuse recipes. Now this chili, again, will make, it'll stretch into probably at least four meals for me. So <clears throat> repurpose your leftovers. You know, if you get tired of eating them, just reinvent them, make, it, make them into something new. So I went into my pantry and I found some black beans, some mild chili beans, and some chili ready diced tomatoes down there. And I also found a uh, chili mix. I don't know if I got this at Aldi's. I don't remember because it's been in the pantry. And here I also have my Vital Wheat Gluten and this is also a repurposed container and that is from um, cashews from Aldi's and I have some um, contact paper that's like a chalkboard so a lot of times I'll just cover this to make it nicer and I spray paint the top black but I didn't do that with this but anyway that's where how I keep my vital wheat gluten so anyway, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add some vital mix, vital wheat gluten to this mix just to firm it up a little bit because I want it to be like crumbles now. I don't want it to be just a meatloaf. So I'm going to add, oh, maybe about three or four tablespoons of the vital wheat gluten. And 
I'm going to incorporate that really well into the meat crumbles into the crumbles it goes and I'm going to start off maybe with well, I'll do four and hopefully that'll be good and that'll firm it up a little bit too and make it more into a crumble I have my kombucha here I put a little cherry juice in it and I did that video yesterday and I, I keep these little tops from the coffee containers the small coffee containers because they're nice to keep outside when you go out and have a drink it, they're real nice just to cover your drink so you don't get uh, uh, the, the bees and things attracted to it so anyway so tasty so I'm going to turn this to uh, medium low heat and I'm probably going to need to add a little oil so I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick and I got these at the Dollar Tree and what I do is I have them over here I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not but what I did was I made I bought vinegar and oil ones and I had this black tray I don't remember where I got it but I keep all that handy for my cooking so back to the meat so I've got to mix this all up and then I'm going to this is a very simple chili recipe now normally I just I have a different recipe that I use um, that uses tomato soup and things and it really makes a good chili but um, I want to use up what I have in my pantry because um, when I go shopping in the next couple weeks I want to restock some of my old things like I said I have been using a lot of my pantry food because it's it's older and it needs to get used up and I need to replenish a lot of these things so I will be back when this is done cooking just cook it like you would regular meat and you can also make this recipe with ground meat if you want if you if you have a leftover meatloaf I don't know if you'd want to add vital wheat gluten to it but you could try it chop it up and put it into a meatloaf or into a chili or spaghetti sauce you don't need to waste it just freeze your food and and then that's enough you know when you don't feel like cooking someday then you'll have plenty of food in your freezer and I freeze my meals in single portions I find it the easiest that way because well I'm a single person but even if there's two of you in the household and you don't want to all eat the same thing or if there's four of you if you if you freeze it in single portions then um, you have a meal and people can pick what they want to eat so you don't always have to eat the same things so I'm going to let this cook a little bit and I wanted to show you the containers that I use when I freeze my meals I use these containers now this is plenty for a meal for me and the containers and I like these because they stack up and you can pull them out of your freezer and take them for lunch 
or you can put sandwiches in here too. So these are great, and, and they're just, uh, not sure if these are rubber made. I think these are, uh, well, I can't read it. But anyway, you can pick these up at the Dollar Tree, you can pick them up at Walmart, but I love these containers. And then I just take a little tiny strip of paper, put some tape on it, and I write on there the date and what it is, rather than just writing on the, on the lid, because then all you do is pull it off and you can reuse the container again. But I love these things. So there's a frugal tip for you. So I'm going to cook this up and I'll be back when it's done cooking. All right, I've put my ground up meatloaf, my chopped up meatloaf into another pot. That's how it looks. And now I'm going to add my three cans. These are the diced tomatoes. And then I'm going to add the beans. And I'm just using the mild chili beans. And this is just a quick a quick meal. It's not something that you have to simmer for hours and hours. <clears throat> and then I'm going to drain these black beans a little bit, but I'm not going to rinse them. I'm just going to drain them a little bit. I actually like the um, the bean um, juice or whatever you want to call it because <clears throat> it makes a nice thick chili and I think I'm going to add a little water to this too and I'm going to add my chili seasoning mix and let's see does it call for water uh, No, but it's really, really thick. I'll show it to you in a minute. So I'm going to add some water. I'll show you this is how thick it is really really thick so it needs some water and I'm going to cook this for a little bit anyway now you can also add some tomato soup in here if you don't want to add water but I think with all these chili flavored things I'm going to add a little water to it and that was about half a can I don't like my chili too thin, but I think I'm going to add a little more because it's going to cook down a little bit too. And if you have any brown bits on the bottom of your pot before you add all this stuff, then go ahead and add that in. I forgot to mention, I also added uh, just a little bit, about a tablespoon or less, maybe two teaspoons, of lemon juice with the uh, seitan for the uh, crumbles because otherwise um, seitan sometimes has a bit of a little funky taste and that helps to round out the flavor a little bit. So, this is what it looks like, and the package directions on the mix say to cook it for 10 minutes, and I think that'll be enough, but I'm going to give it a little taste test, because I don't know if that's going to be 
season to my liking. And you should always season things to your liking. So I'm going to give that a little test. Tasty. One of my favorite things to add to chili. This has a little bit of heat to it, but not much. If you like yours hotter, you can add red pepper flakes. You can add a little cayenne. But my favorite seasoning is, because I don't like real hot, but this is my go-to. Yes, I'm in my pajamas. Good old Frank's hot sauce. I love Frank's hot sauce. So I'm going to give it just a little bit of that, not too much, because I don't like I don't like it hot. So easy peasy. I like easy. But this will be enough for me probably for, oh, I would say five meals. So if you're getting ready for the cooler weather or you just have a taste for it, make some chili out of your leftover meatloaf. Try it again. Mm-hmm. Very tasty. That's what it looks like. And I have more meals. I stretched that one little meatloaf that was only in that little pan to probably about eight meals or more. Probably nine or ten. And it really didn't cost me anything because I already had the ingredients. I didn't have to run out to the store. And it's a variety. You don't always have to eat the same thing. Now, I will freeze most of this. I'll eat it for a couple days. So I'll have more freezer meals because I'm trying to use up the meals, uh, the, the basic things I have, and make more freezer meals so that I don't have to cook all the time. So anyway, that's all I have for you today and I wish you abundant blessings my friends I love you guys and I'll see you next time